So. Much like Trinity Force is efficient for Cogmores, there is easier the last pick for Doinby. It's I was looking at Kid and I was like, it must be a Trinity Force user. No, yeah, well not this time. It's <laughs> twice in a row now, actually. But he's played Auto Attack Reliant Champions and TNT is gonna go back to Cogmore. Why not? I think for us to be like a, a level one all-in invade. Still going. Wards down. Kitties gets tagged. Oh, auto's there, needs one more! What? Locked down there as well. Kitties does not flash and he will die. Uh pretty sure that's misclick, lag team. <laughs> Hello? Any of the above? <laughs> he walked back into uh, auto attack range, so Mars lane. He is constantly keeping rookie shoved in. Oh. Not gonna get it. Oh, oh Kakao's no. actually tagged. Swift's gonna get the kill. Probably wish the Krog had taken it instead. ...from lane to go pick up the blue buff so they know that Kakao and Yindu are both on the top side of the map. And it just opens up the numbers advantage to take this dragon for one. Sorry, for this up. Oh, now top lane, they're gonna go in for the tie. Xiao Gu gonna dive straight in there. V's gonna take the tower up to tie. Has absolutely no hope as Swift gets himself to kill. Gonna go in favor there. They did manage to kill the rise, but it didn't really put him behind or down because he had that 12 minute rod of ages. Not the acceptable choices. Kitties gets tagged, oh. and that spear plus the ulti is enough to kill him. My god, that was a lot of poke damage. Last jungler, since he hasn't performed at the world stage, but definitely a power hit. An excellent jungler, to be sure, as V finds the tie with a teleport. He's gonna go all in for this rise. TNT's gonna pop the bio at Cam Barrage. Rookie's there with the ultimate, but it's not nearly enough as the ult's gonna tag Lulu now. Kitties trying to fend them off with a stun. He's gonna look for the bed, does find it under TCT, but V's gonna dive his way back in. There's another kill gonna be coming down, and Swift can now just try and poke people off this turret. As IGR defending, but Swift, he really wants some people dead. Up at Kitty Kitties, have to make a huge play here, but the damage is good. Kitties is going to jump his way in. The port's down. Dovey's going to kick them out with the uh, ultimate from Azir. Kitties will die. Swift gets the Baron. Kids far too low as TNT flashes for the kill. He will get it to Ty, will die as well. And Xiaogu get the Baron and three clean kills. And to come online. You're looking for three items out of team. She has the Infinity Edge complete. Now you're looking for the Static Shiv and then the Armor Penetration from the last Whisper. Top lane does get the tower, but Xiaogu might just get in for this. V's actually going to dive in. This tower's already dead to Ty. Little too much time there in the top lane. And Swift and friends break the base. He may end up trading a first tier outer for the inhibitor. That said, IG trying to hold them here. Bear down there for Kitty's Don't be gonna ride in onto Kakao. Looking for something here as Rookie's taking a massive amount of damage. Swift will dive back in. He'll get the kill. The knock ups are there, but the damage from Don't is far too much. And they're just cleaning house as a tie. The only member of IG left alive will fall down as Shaogu get themselves an ace. And they have a massive minion wave, two cannon creeps as well as the Kogma behind them. IG may have just traded two members of Shaogu for the game. They may just have it. The first Nexus turret will fall. The second does not look particularly healthy as Doinby surfs out of the way. Kakao is up in 10 seconds. Shaogu may have enough to get this Nexus. They will. And in under 24 minutes, Xiao Gu are going to go up in game two and 2-0 in the series. And it started out fairly stalled, a little bit slower pace, but 